let's start we'll discuss the angular motion or frequency or oscillation of dipole in uniform electric field so what happens in suppose one spring is there a spring if we rotate a little bit the spring what happens it will try to come back in its original position or you can say if there is a small mass with a spring if you slightly displace the spring what will happen or mass it will start oscillating is it clear similarly when a dipole is there now dipole will always try to align along the electric field okay align with the electric field whenever we will displace a little bit it will try to start oscillating like this okay now we will calculate the oscillation oscillation of dipole in uniform field now first of all we'll calculate so oscillation of dipole in uniform electric field first we'll draw an electric dipole suppose this is a dipole small angle theta by which we have rotated from its equilibrium position this is equilibrium position means electric field and dipole moment direction p now what we will do will take the torque what is the formula for torque torque on the dipole tau is equal to i am taking one minus sign why i am taking minus sign because this torque is restoring torque means when we will slightly re, uh, displace <coughs> or rotate this torque will try to make it come back okay that's why i'm taking negative this is just we can say restoring torque you will have study you may have studied in uh, okay simple harmonic motion you did not study yet so you will study so there we'll see p e, e sin theta now for a small angle sin theta value is approximately equal to theta we consider okay for small angles for small angles theta or we can write sin theta is approximately equal to theta okay therefore we can write tau is equal to minus e e theta okay then again we know rotational motion you have studied there you have seen torque is equal to moment of inertia into how much moment of inertia into alpha okay na again we know tau is equal to moment of inertia into alpha okay so here they have given the light rod of length l okay first of all i'll draw one rod this is light rod both end two charged particles are there minus q plus q mass is same for both of them how much mass each particle mass is small m so length is l it will be rotating about the center of mass okay na that means this length total length is l so this length will become l by 2 then torque will become sorry moment of inertia of this 
small masses this rod is massless or very light rod light rod means its moment of inertia approximately zero will consider therefore moment of inertia is equal to m r square plus m r square there are two masses point masses so how do we write i is equal to m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square like that we continue correct so this formula will take so 2m small r square again 2m small r is equal to l by 2 so l by 2 whole square so you are getting m l square by 2 agree then we can write m l square by 2 so moment of inertia we are getting then tau is equal to m l square by 2 into alpha this is moment of inertia okay again we know torque is equal to p minus p e theta sin theta not theta so therefore we'll write m l square by 2 alpha where alpha is angular acceleration alpha is angular acceleration is equal to minus p e theta so alpha is equal to we can write minus p e by or 2 p e by m l square theta is it clear here you can see isn't it similar to acceleration is equal to minus kx not kx but omega square x okay now compare so we can write it will approach it will just similarly this is for linear this is for linear oscillation this is for angular oscillation okay alpha is equal to omega minus omega square theta therefore we can write omega square is equal to 2 e, e by m l square or we can write omega is equal to square root 2 p e by m l square wait for one second p e okay now omega we got equal to square root 2pe by ml square then we can write again time period formula is equal to 2 pi divided by omega so 2 pi omega inverse will take square root m l square by 2pe now tell me one more thing here p is equal to again p is equal to q into l separation between yes then instead of p we can write so t is equal to 2 pi square root m l square divided by 2 times q into l into e so 1 l get cancelled so time period is equal to 2 pi square root m l divided by 2 q e okay this will be your answer